Hey, good morning to you, my friend. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation, Proverbs 18, 22. Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Uh, today, my youngest son marries his fiance, and they begin their life together. And what an exciting day this is, and what an exciting life they will have as long as they put the Lord first. My wife Beverly and I have been married. We are in our 37th year of marriage, and the Lord has blessed us. It's not been without ups and downs and ins and outs, but that's life. But thank God for Him, Him being the Lord, who is the glue that holds it all together. One thing that is lacking in relationships today, whether it is in the world or in the church, is this fact of commitment. The one thing that keeps us saved is Christ's commitment to us. It is not necessarily the fact that we love Him so much that He can't help but stay committed to us. John chapter number 2 said this, that the Lord Jesus, there were many that believed on Him, but He did not commit Himself unto them because He knew them. It is His commitment to us that makes the marked difference. The story in history is told of Julius Caesar when he invaded Britain as he disembarked from the ships and brought his legions upon the cliffs of Dover. He ordered them to the edge of the cliff to peer into the water. And when they did, they saw that the ships they had sailed to England on were all ablaze in the water below. In other words, he said, there is no room for retreat. And they invaded Britain and were victorious because... They had to be committed. Are you committed to the Lord first and foremost? And then are you committed to your spouse to make it work no matter what happens in life? Hey, think on these things today and have a great day.